So welcome back to Sooner Baton. I'm sure you're all very surprised we are still hunting here. In all honesty though, I am absolutely loving this map. And in our last hunt, we spent eight or nine hours in multiplayer just looking for trophies and managed to add quite a bit of stuff to our launch. So today, I want to go back to the kind of normal style where we try to hunt around just one server for several hours and see if we can find anything good that way. And we're going up in the mountains because I still really want a trophy snow leopard. And of course, inevitably, there's a bunch of stuff up here we may encounter, like a level 9 wild yak. 271 to 290 estimate, there's a max wide estimate 7 Tibetan fox back there. But we've got the 300 bolt action today, and I think we're going to try to just go ahead and get that from here. It looks like maybe the dark brown variant, and I kind of think that's one of those, again, it's really wide set. To where he's got a decent chance of making it. We have three diamonds, and they're all like right around 274. That's what they look like. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're adding another one to the tally there as our first kill. And since the disturbed veg is here, he is dark red brown. So I'm pretty sure we do have one with that variation. Not too bad looking up close. And that is 276. I think he's our biggest time in Wild Yak then. Got him left long at 194. Slowly but surely creeping up towards 280. That's what I really want as like a 280 scoring diamond yak. I think that would be cool. There's a lot of variety though. Like every diamond we have to some degree has like the wider set horns minus the one. But they're all different. I like that. And the only complaint I have, this level 6 that was in the exact same group they were feeding in that zone. That's the jet black variant. And as far as fur variations go... That's definitely the one I really want. So since he's going to turn, I was hoping we could just alert him and actually now... Maybe the 22 will work? Yeah, that's going to get his attention. That's going to get a shot through the lungs. And we can go and take a look at that. I just think, like, those big diamond horns on one with that super sleek black coat would be really nice in the lodge. Like, in the sun, it just looks so good. You see all the fur detail all the way, like, along it. I just think it's a really cool variation. 221 silver. God, this is the second time we've shot level 6 with like a really interesting hook horn. I do like him. That was a bit bagged lung and liver. But go figure. What? How did I do that? It's not... What? Okay, I don't know what just happened. Said something about connection there for a second. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> hopefully we can stay here. Go figure. We literally start with the diamond yak. I'm not sure that's super unique it seems like there are a lot of level nines and diamond yaks out there wrong level nine species up here in the mountains but we will take it as we're trying to find literally a snow leopard right now well that kind of adds up all things considered but guess glad it waited a couple of minutes would have been really bad if we disconnected before we got our nine we'll talk about them perfect analog for the same server we just found another max wood estimate level seven tibetan fox we are not in the same server. Ended up joining another one, and I'm pretty sure he turned right when we shot, so that didn't exactly go to plan. Probably not a vital hit, but we'll at least take that. And there are, by the way, some really cool Tibetan Fox variations. We got our Melanistic, which obviously, that was insane, but there's a couple of other rares that maybe aren't so obvious. There's a sand variation that is, I guess, kind of more of just a reddish-orange all the way through. There's no gray. And then a smoke variant, which is more great that I really, really like. So with these things, when we don't have a disturb edge or anything, we're definitely going to try to get them. Because I'm not so sure, unless you get a really good look at them, maybe when they're not fleeing out in front of you, for instance, I think you could miss a really cool variation. So this is going to end up being a level 7 silver, ultimately, because we did not get a vital. What in the... Okay, so that's clearly... We had this before. How did I make that go away? Because I'm pretty sure that's going to come up again the next thing. Well, there's our snow leopard finally. Ended up spooking it, but hopefully we can figure it out by then. Now we may, in this case, kind of be able to do what we just did with the fox. Just sort of run track it and get to where we can get eyes on it. I've only had that happen a couple of times. It typically has to be decently open. And it looks like it's going to dip right down into the tree, so maybe not so much. There she is. She actually just cut back the other way on us. I brought the Ganhair rifle. I wonder... Oh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> almost too low. I'm sure that was almost too low, but we actually got her on the move. By the way, I decided to customize this thing. I kind of forgot you can do that. 
I think it looks pretty good. A little more modern look to it. The site still has like the older textures on it, but I think it's cool. So our first Snow Leopard of the Hunt, not exactly the trophy Snow Leopard we're after, but just dropped in his tracks on the move. 22.41 silver. So I did something like inspect maybe. I think that's, I think we're good. Future Harbors should not do that. Hopefully anyway. <laughs> Are you actually serious? We're getting charged by a level 9 yak this time. Now he's got the more like vertical horns. That might be the jet brown. Pretty good estimate up to 287. I think it is. So we definitely want to at least try to make sure we get this shot. That could not have been a more convenient time to stop. So we'll probably just let him do his thing so we don't somehow hit him in the skull. Or do something like that. That was a horrible shot on that 6. I still don't. Yeah, he's going down. Maybe we did get him. So we should be safe, I think, to go in and claim this, maybe. And then now our second level 9 yak, albeit on another server, is... a troll. <laughs> and it is, of course, the jet brown fur. Literally jet brown and jet black are my two favorite, like, common variations. And I think we've been trolled by two different jet browns. I like the more vertical horns, too. It just seems like they typically don't make it. And then our six, maybe, like, a, one of the reddish variants? Obviously not going to be anything as special. Dark Red, 224 for him. And unfortunately, <laughs> nothing too crazy out of there. So, of course, we had the time reset to early morning. However, that does mean that Snow Leopards are going to be feeding. So we've got another female out here. I think this time, oh yeah. Um, we're probably going to shoot that with an unethical weapon. I kind of forgot our only weapon for stuff like that is going to be the 243 handgun. Or the Gan Air Rifle. When we shot the one before, it was just because I wanted to use it, but I kind of forgot that's really the best option in that case. And an important side note, by the way, that still didn't punch in the lungs, but got a high bleed rate. So for Leucistic Snow Leopards, they're not like extremely different from the Snow Variant, but the big thing is you won't see nearly as much spotting towards the hind end. So when we saw her run by kind of broadside, and we could see all the spots, like say from the ribs back and on the legs and everything, it was clearly just the snow variant and not any kind of leucistic. So we were all good to take that shot and bring her down. This time, not an ethical snow leopard kill, but getting two pretty early on here and just like following along these hiking trails seems to be the best way to encounter them consistently, at least for me. Now this we gotta find, a max way to submit woolly hair track. I think this is only the second one I've seen. And it is a female, which is probably a good thing. Now, male diamond woolly hair have been found, but I think females can make it too, and maybe even would be the more likely one, because for every other hair species in the Hunter Call of the Wild, the females are the ones that make diamond. This is the only hair species where males even can make diamond, so I'm hoping there's a chance here. Sure, it would be nice to find another track though. There she is, unfortunately just a level two. Still maybe a chance, I guess. What are the odds? <laughs> that was so bad. She literally stopped right there, and then we just completely whiffed every shot. She should slow down again. Zero for a hundred. That worked a little bit better through the brush. And I think only our second two to three kilo estimate woolly hair down. So that is a 2.95. Actually hit her in the back leg. Tracked her a kilometer, and that still falls about 0.3 shy of diamond. So no such luck there. But that is... Actually, in my experience, about as rare, if not more rare than a Max Wet Estimate Snow Leopard track, so the same principle applies. When we find one, we're gonna stop whatever we're doing to go and track it. I mean, like, how does this keep happening? <laughs> There's another one, almost the same estimate. Vertical horns again, and I think this time more of the reddish variant. So probably this one will end up making it, if the trend continues. Really been wanting to manage to basically drop one, and we've finally done it? Will that be a little bit of extra luck for this guy? Our third level 9 yak already, and it's not even what we're after? And that one does make it, of course he's dark red too, 278. That one I'm actually pretty happy with, I was just saying like, I like the vertical horns. I think they look really good. All the ones we keep getting have like the more horizontal like straight out horns. Dark red is a good variant. Just really wish it could have been that last one that was the Jet Brown. Double Lung, Double Lung Liver is what managed to drop him. I mean, that's pretty cool considering 
we haven't even gone to like a drink zone for them. We're just trying to find snow leopards. Three level nines, two in this same server now, is pretty absurd. Really. It's like we kill a diamond yak and then just get disconnected. <laughs> what, what are the odds? So as we're into another session and onto another snow leopard, by the way, this time a male, you can probably imagine this is kind of screwed with the planes a little bit, consistently getting into multiple servers as we get disconnected. Because I had thought about hunting around the entirety of the map, starting in the mountains and then maybe hunting in the south. But as we keep sort of getting a new set of mountains to go through, there's more and more time that I want to spend up here, just at the very least running these trails and looking for snow leopards. So probably we'll end up here the entirety of the hunt now. But I like that we're at least onto a male snow leopard finally. Oh, there he is right there. Level six snow leopard resting about 50 meters above us. Now, with the gan hair, it's gonna be tough to like perfectly place that shot say into the top of the lungs or anything. So we may need to alert him, which really could be kind of a problem. I'm gonna just think if we crouch forward, he's attentive, let's just get the gun ready. Alert, and can we see well enough to get this shot? Cause there's a rock in the way. Just step to the side. I'm really afraid of hitting that rock and wasting all this stock. He's alarmed now. Gonna have to go for it. Uh, did we get a vital? We might have. Obviously went down pretty quick. I don't imagine the gan here is so powerful that it just blows through a, a snow leopard like neck shot causing that. Maybe it did. No organs hit and it killed him that fast. That is crazy. When you really think about it. So we literally hit nothing? Oh, we got vertebrae. Okay. I will take that. We almost got the next shot that I wanted. That was about the only thing that we could safely go for. And all things considered, just a little level six, we will take that. So three snow leopards now, which to be honest, more than I thought we'd get. But then again, when we keep on ending up in multiple servers, I guess inevitably we're going to find some. So go figure. We've already got another snow leopard, this time a seven. And I actually think if we can get a shot, if we got me stuck, this may be a 243 type of situation. I'm going to zero for 200 now. Because when he comes back into view, because I think he should, maybe we can just get that shot. I'm going to actually mark where we just saw him because I feel like we lost him. Okay, he's kind of coming back this way. Might be able to do this. He's not nearly as far as I expected. I don't know if he knows what he's doing. That might have been a long shot, it looks like it. Actually, the 243 does a heck of a job. Pretty much as good as like the bad hit from the Ganhair rifle. Brought this guy down really quickly. That caramel variant, like, I do like the snow better because they blend in better, but man is that a nice coloration. Got a gold finally 27.36 after four snow leopards. They are just so darn cool. And like, we've been on a couple of different occasions, trying to get trophy tigers for the multi-mount with the Barasinga. We've got our trophy blue sheep already, and still looking for that trophy snow leopard. Obviously that is a little more difficult, but finding a decent number of them at least is encouraging. Oh, no way. Look at that, there's a snow leopard chasing a blue sheep down there. I don't even know if we'll... <laughs> Just ran the snow sheep off the cliff. I don't even know if we'll get it, but that's cool to see. Do I really want to go all the way down there and track that for a level 2 female? Probably not. Because I think we're going to try to get one more kill and wrap up. But that was worth the price of admission just to actually watch. We had one snow leopard chase a herd of tar right past us. Other than that, we haven't actually gotten to witness something chasing. And to see like that big blue sheep just take off down there, that was pretty cool. Well, wouldn't you know it, we have a different snow leopard here, just a nervous female. And I think, again, for the sake of having the scope, probably we will go 243. Almost just shot a tree with that. That wouldn't have really worked too good. Soon as it clears this, of course, she's got to trot. We almost could go get here at this point. I'd really prefer to do that. But what I don't want to have happen is for her to just completely get out of sight and miss out on what would be a fairly easy opportunity to bring one down, like right up under here. There she is. Okay, 50 meters out. We can zero for 75. That will work just fine. 
for one final kill, kill here up here in the mountains of Sooner Patan. So we do have two Diamond Yak to take back to our Trophy Lodge, and we'll probably go to the second lodge for now, just because everything as far as our Trophy Lodges go is kind of chaos at the moment. Long liver stomach for that, so minus the one that we hit in the vertebrae. The Ganyar did a pretty good job on them. I think we ended up killing like five snow lepers. That ain't bad at all. And just for now, we've got them up here on the second level of our second lodge here in the main room. A 278 dark red. That's our biggest diamond yak thus far. And then we've got the 276 dark red brown. But what I thought was cool was just having the yak and female cape buffalo model side by side. Now, obviously, a male cape buffalo model would be a little bit bigger. But the size difference is super notable. Yaks do get as max weights go, about 250 kilo bigger, so they are just bigger animals, but it is cool to actually see it in front of us right here in the lodge. And I think maybe better news than getting two diamond yaks for our trophy lodge is the amount of snow leopards we got, and I think it's kind of proof of concept of the whole pretty much hunt around those hiking trails and look for tracks. We are able to get a bunch of them today, and we even didn't kill everyone we saw, that chasing female. We didn't even bother to go after. So I like that. Hopefully that's good news for potential future trophy snow leopards to be able to make similarly cool multi mouse to this one here. And I think on that note, that's going to do it for this video. So as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.